This is the 172nd Caproni CA310, uh, the Italian and Spanish version from Azure here, uh, which was sent to me for review by Special Hobby, who uh, run Azure and all of the connected companies, which is CMK and a few others. So, um, very grateful to them for that. So, we'll go ahead and have a look what's inside the box. And as is standard for Special Hobby, uh, you get a nice. Uh, right up there of uh, the kit, the, the plane itself, so this is the Caproni, so this is a quite a nice uh, introduction there, explaining where it was used and, and what it was used for. And then you've got a parts breakdown, and it's uh, quite a basic kit, there's only two sprues, but you get quite, well, three sprues, three sprues, sorry, and um, there's a small one there with just the cowlings for the, the engines, and you get quite a lot of resin added here, and then the clear parts and a photo etch for it and colours throughout are Guns uh, or Mr. Hobby. So it's quite good, um, there is slight colour to these uh, instructions and it's all sort of blown out and quite good, um, quite clear so you can follow everything here and um, working through with the fuse large as usual and then you're adding on clear parts, you've got quite a large clear part here which is um, only got a few windows in the bottom of it so that's quite good so you can um, flush it all in with the fuselage without damaging some of the clear parts there and um, things start to build up quite quickly as you go through here looking at the instructions that is and then you've got the landing gear and the engines going on and that brings the build to completion then we go through the schemes here so we've got two from the Spanish Civil War and uh, they're very nice options full camouflage as was the case with this plane. Um, so colour call acts again to Mr Hobby and it's a very nice scheme on the top. And decals are included for the writing on the side of the fuselage and the general uh, bits and bobs as well as the cross on the back and uh, on the fin there. And these bars underneath as well, they're all decals so you don't need to pass those up. Painting might be a bit interesting for this scheme. And then we've got a uh, Italian scheme, which is from 1940 in uh, Milan, Italy. And then we've got a um, another camouflage scheme like the two before, which is uh, again Italian in the summer 1940. So this is there's two World War Two ones and two Spanish Civil War ones. And then you've got a few adverts there of what's coming from Azure. So getting into it, we've got. Um, the all important resin parts here, which is quite nice. So both engines are in resin. You've got the wheels are all in resin with the tail wheel there, which is very nice detail on the uh, tread pattern for the wheels. Absolutely exquisite. This is all generally CMK stuff, so it's, it's top quality. It's all produced in house, and you've got some nice parts there. Uh, I think those are for the engines as well, and then you've got the exhaust, so that's all related to the engines. That's related to the wheels, and then you've got a few parts for the interior and a few exterior parts. So, very nice to have that as an addition. You shouldn't need to get anything uh, else to add to this kit, as it's all in the box for a very high build, for a very high quality build. We've got the photo etch fret which contains all the other parts. You've got seat belts for the interior, a few parts for uh, the interior as well, is, um, and then exterior, some of the finer stuff for the exterior, which is all quite nice, and really goes quite a long way to improving the kit. Then looking at the decals, there's the two options. They're very nicely printed. Again, these are printed in-house, by Special Hobby, which is uh, Avi Print, which is a uh, one of the companies that they um, have under their as part of their company. And here you can see the fin detail for the Special Hobby one is uh, quite a large part patch of white. So uh, hopefully that would blend in quite nicely when it comes to the scheme. <coughs> and here you can see quite a lot of parts here for the Spanish Civil War versions with the black circles and the black and white crosses. They're all printed very nice. I've used these in the past and they're absolutely um, 
no problem. They're a bit finer than um, what you'd expect with cartograph, so you, you need to be a bit more careful. Uh, so you can't pull them about quite as much as you might have got used to with using cartograph decals. Then we've got the clear parts. I've knocked a piece off the sprue here, so that would be there, so that's the nose. Um, these are very clear uh, and no problem. They will take a little bit more of a clean up around the edges just to make sure they all blend in because um, this is a short run kit so you don't get the uh, intricacies that you get with a, a, a mass production release. And uh, yeah, no problems there. Very nice. And then we've got the free sprues, so starting with the fuse large sections. Uh, it gives you an idea of the size of this plane. It's, it's quite small for what it is, a little uh, two engine bomber. And then you've got the uh, cockpit floor and the seats, as well as a few parts for the cockpit. The tail planes um, are in two halves, so you've just got to watch that. Uh, again, this is a short run kit, so with that comes uh, the lack of uh, locating pins. And here, where you where you glue these two parts together, you wouldn't usually see that on a on a mainstream release. Uh, none of it's a problem. You just got to take your time. A few ejector pin marks here and there, which is to be expected again because these are generally uh, short runs and uh, done in limited numbers. The instrument panel's very nice with uh, detail moulded in, and um, that would paint that really really, really quite well. No detail on the inside of the seats, but again, that sort of comes with these type of kits, so you'd add all of that um, yourself if you wanted to tart them up a little bit. Very nice uh, ribbing detail and rivet detail around the wing roots there. And um, there's some very nice uh, details all across there. Then on to the sprue with the wings. Again, as you can see, um, th this would be built up in the usual way, so this part makes up the bottom of the fuselage and then these two parts of the wing go on the top. There are quite a lot of ejector pin marks here, so you'd have to just file those down to make sure you get a nice flush fit. Uh, again, no problem. And the engine nacelles are built into the wing here and then the cowling goes on the end, so there might be a few problems there just joining those together, so you just again have to be quite careful and take your time with test fitting and making sure everything's coming together nicely, especially when you start to add the resin parts. Uh, that can cause a few issues. But again, nothing that a bit of test fitting won't hurt, won't cure. And a very nice panel line detail here, all across the underside of the wing and on the tops, with very fine riveting detail and um, very, very in scale. It's absolutely um, perfect, there's no problem there. And there's even fabric texture on the ailerons there as well. So that's a very nice sprue. And then the last sprue is just a few bits for the engine uh, cowlings. And these parts go on the top of the engine. I'm not sure if these are actually used in this uh, edition or not. But uh, again, no problem with those parts. So that is the Azure 172nd the Caproni CA310 Italian and Spanish version from Azure, 172nd. A very nice kit. Take your time, it's not going to be like a Tamiya kit or one of the mainstream releases because it is a short run release. Uh, which is uh, the benefits of that is we get subjects like this to model, and um, that's absolutely fantastic and you can only really get that from short run companies so you've got to just take into account the few problems that you're going to get because of that. Uh, so that shouldn't really reflect on the kit or the company. It's just the nature of these types of releases. you just got to take your time, work for it and you'll end up with a really very highly detailed model. Especially with this scheme. I mean, uh, if you went for the camo scheme and you took your time and got it all done, it would be uh, a very stunning model. So thanks to Special Hobby for supplying us with this, and highly recommended.